At the Special Olympics Iowa Winter Games, victory isn't only defined I did it. by who finishes first. Though that is a fantastic feat <laughs> for the Schneckloth family. I'm so proud of you. 11-year-old Allie you do it again? is a winner job, every single day. She had some complications at birth, and um, the doctors did not know if she was going to live or survive or not. And so the doctor said, as long as she keeps breathing, she will keep living. And so we've just been blessed every day. Her daughter joins hundreds of athletes for this three-day event. With artificial snow here and skating events indoors, the warm weather has drastically impacted only one sport, snowshoeing. But athletes competing here at Albrecht Acres near Cheryl stay their course. You know, that's one good thing about snowshoeing. You don't have to have snow. You can just do it on grass. Paul Gorell has worked with the Winter Games since it started 27 years ago. We had 25 athletes and it's grown to over 400. He's been director of the games for the past 25 years and steps down after this winter's event. I think what we'll miss the most is all the kids smiling faces <laughs> and having them come up to you and uh, thanking you and, and giving you hugs and things like that. Everybody cheers for everybody just from the accomplishment of the day and the accomplishment of just the tiny baby step goals that each athlete has. It's a life changing experience. Where every hill and every day is an achievement in Dubuque County. Becca Habiger, Iowa's News Channel 7.